I'm Danny Stahl, and uh, growing up, I was that kid that was always uh, in the creek, getting all uh, muddy, dirty, uh, bringing snakes and frogs home to mom, and uh, that's kind of how I grew up. I grew up outside uh, in the backyard, uh, you know, playing with my dad, um, sled riding, all that kind of good stuff. Um, that's, that's what I loved growing up. I loved being outside. Uh, I grew up going to church um, and actually transferred over from a public school to a uh, private Christian school uh, back in, in uh, elementary school and finished out my high school going to a Christian school. So I grew up in the Christian home, uh, loving parents um, who, who, who taught me um, uh, how to live a life of purpose and what that meant. And, um, you know, I, I would say that it was, it was my faith starting in probably uh, pretty young for me, probably starting in junior high. Junior high is really when I um, accepted Christ and, and really understood what that meant. Uh, and from there, it's been, it's been a journey. It's been a, a growth journey. Uh, I went, uh, after high school, I went to Miami University. I went to a public uh, college, and uh, my eyes were kind of open a little bit to some uh, real-world experience and, and, uh, and what, what was out there. Um, and, you know, I, I can look back on my years in, in college and, uh, really, I, I see them every year as a growth year, uh, even when I went through the hard times, even when I, uh, you know, would, would struggle with, uh, with something, I still see them as growth years. And in fact, when I was uh, going, it was, let's see, the summer of 2005, uh, I went to a place called JH Ranch out in Northern California, and I had the opportunity to be a whitewater rafting guide out there. And... Uh, you know that summer. That summer really just just uh, transformed me and uh, made me the man that I am today. Uh, it was a full summer with uh, you know amazing, amazing close friends that uh, were were just guys being guys out on the river, um, and you know we'd go cliff jumping and do all that stuff, and we'd be in God's creation, and we got to take uh, father son, father daughter, and husband wife groups down uh, down the the Klamath River. And, uh, and, and just, I, I got to see an interesting thing. I got to see lives transformed right in front of me. Uh, I got to see um, daughters tell their dads that, that they loved them for the first time in years. I got to see, you know, uh, you know, if a bald eagle would fly by, just kids' eyes just open up like, whoa, this is amazing. So uh, that experience really brought me to where I am today. Um, when I was out there, a friend of mine, uh, Lee Cadden, um, he, we both kind of uh, realized that we wanted to do something in the outdoor industry. Uh, we weren't sure what yet. We thought we wanted to open up some sort of outdoor apparel kind of store, um, shop, kind of actual physical brick location. And, uh, you know, I found in my life that when, uh, when God is, is really speaking to me, when he's really putting something on my heart, in, in my life, um, it sticks with me. It's not something that's just fleeting, that just is there one day and it's like, eh, that was a cool idea, but not there anymore. Um, but it, this is something that stuck with us. So that was the summer of 2005. I graduated from Miami in, in 07 and, uh, and went to work for the family company for the first year out of school. Um, that year was a, a really difficult year. Uh, I wasn't exactly doing what I was passionate about, um, but it was where I was supposed to be. I do know that. I do know God had me there for a reason. And uh, I felt like he told me, I'm going to have you here for, for one year. And uh, God works in crazy ways, and it actually turns out that I was there for just one year uh, because uh, at about 11 months uh, after a sales meeting, I was riding home with my boss, and he basically straight up called me out. I was like, Danny, you're, you're, you're not happy. You're, you're underperforming, and it's because you're not satisfied. You're not passionate about what you're doing. And I was just like, whoa. You hit the nail on the head. You really, you really hit it, it is, is what I was thinking. And I went home that day, and, and uh, my world was just rocked. You know, I, I didn't know, if it, you know for sure if it was actually going to be a year that I was only there. And, you know, that passion about 
doing something in the outdoor industry was still there. It was, it was always tugging at my heart a little bit, but I just wasn't, you know, I wasn't exactly sure what it was going to look like kind of thing. Uh, but then my boss said that I went home, and that just so happened. And I, I don't, I don't believe in coincidence. I believe that God is a, is a, the great orchestrator. Is is what I like to look at him as. He's he's very specific. He's uh, the the minute details is what he pays attention to, and um, it just so happened to be uh, right before a two week long road trip that I was taking with my family uh, out west. We just drive out to Colorado, Utah. Arizona, we just go wherever. We don't know where we're going to camp. We don't know where we're going to stay. We just drive. And uh, so, so this happened with my boss just before that trip. So I had two solid weeks to just be in God's creation. Uh, I'm a big journaler. I like to journal. So I was just doing my quiet time, spending time with God, uh, really just drinking in what he was trying to um, lead me to from the next part of my life because I needed something. I knew I knew if something had to change because I wasn't passionate about what I was doing. So I'm out there and uh, I'm sitting actually, this was, we were in uh, West Texas at a park, park in West Texas and uh, I'm sitting up on a hill and um, journaling, just talking to God and uh, you know, I, I, I was looking down over the campground and it was my family and one other family in the campground at the time. And I remember God just kind of put it on my heart like, what if every single one of these campsites was filled right now? And I was like, whoa, that would be cool. That would be amazing. And that's really kind of where God started to say, okay, that's, that's the direction I want you to go in. Because these experiences outdoors, these, uh, this time with your family, this quality time uh, is something that's just... Uh, it's it's irreplaceable. You can't replace it by some video games. You can't replace it by, um, you know, e even even uh, even just eating dinner with your family. That's great, but it's times apart from your everyday, in the grind life that it's just like, I get to actually communicate with you. You know, I get I get to actually uh, you know talk to your wife or you know hang out with your daughter, whatever it may be. And um, so God really put that on my heart, and I was like, I still didn't know what the details were and what that was going to look like. And I came home, and I, I called my mom up. Uh, I was like, Mom, um, let's grab coffee. I went to one of my favorite coffee, coffee houses, and uh, she sat down with her. I told her about the story about up on the hill and how I knew I wanted to do something in the outdoor industry and that I felt like God said something about families and getting families outdoors. And she said, why don't you do a, kind of an online community for families and uh, help them get connected to each other and get ideas from each other? I was like, Mom, you're brilliant, you know. So, uh, and, and she, she is brilliant. I, I love my mom. Amazing, amazing lady. And um, so that's, that's where the journey began. That was about a year ago um, coming up here. And, um, and that brings me to uh, kind of my, my prop here. This is my prop. Um, this is an ice axe. I don't know if hopefully you guys can see that okay. And um, the, the reason I have this is to kind of explain my last year uh, the last year of my life, and um, in starting what's now become to know, uh, known as VenturePacks.com, that's the company that that uh, we're working on right now. Um, it's really been a journey, and and for me, uh, I've I've climbed several mountains, uh, mountaineering, and uh, so that's what the what the ice axe kind of represents. And when you're climbing a mountain, it's it's incredibly difficult sometimes. For every step, you have to take seven, eight, nine breaths because it's just the air is thin. Uh, it's tough going. You're you're depleted. Your energy is just really down. Um, but that's what this last year kind of has been for me. It's it's worth it. It's totally worth it because I have the end goal. I have the purpose of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Right. But it's a journey. It's an ascent up the mountain, and uh, you know. God is, has been faithful through this year. God has been uh, faithful to bring the right people into my life. And, um, and it's, just, it's just been an amazing opportunity to really share uh, my faith at, in what I'm doing. Because why I'm doing it, the reason I'm doing it, is because of God. There is no other reason. That is my purpose. That is the reason why I'm starting this company. Um, because of a of, of a higher uh, of a higher purpose, 
And, uh, and that's, that's why I'm so passionate about what I'm doing. Venture Packs, what we're doing to, to make the outdoors more approachable for families to fill up the campgrounds in West Texas and everywhere across the nation, uh, we're building a website that families can go on there and share their outdoor experiences to um, tell their stories to other families, places they've been, pictures, videos, website resources that they, that they use to get there. They can share all of these, uh, all of these, all of this information, these data points in a really nice, clear, concise, organized format um, to everybody. You can share them with your own family. Uh, you can share them with the entire Venture Packs community. And then these, uh, this information, what we're, we're kind of calling uh, data points, these data points are then searchable. So if your family is looking just for a place to even go hiking in close to your house, you can just type in, you know, for me it would be Cincinnati hiking. And, and all the other uh, data pins that other, other families have dropped uh, would, would be there. So, uh, so that's kind of what it's been developed into. That's, that's what we've, what we've uh, um, how, what, it's, what it's turned into over the last year. And that's how God is, is uh, going to uh, use me, use Venture Packs to get families outdoors and uh, become families in motion. It's interesting what happens when you're living a life of purpose, when you are, uh, you everything kind of blends together. Uh, your family life, your work life, your uh, hanging out with friends, everything blends together. And that's what I've found in, in starting Venture Packs is that uh, every meeting I have, um, every presentation I give, uh, I, I can't help but share why I'm doing it. Um, and, you know, for me to leave out the God aspect, for me to leave out, you know, the really the root of why, why I'm doing what I'm doing, it doesn't make sense. It just does not make sense. Um, just uh, two weeks ago, I was given a presentation at Miami. I uh, had a, a professor ask me to come back and I had the opportunity to, uh, to talk to these entrepreneurship students and just say, you know, it's a wild ride entrepreneurship is. But for me, my journey, my ascent up the mountain, I rely on God. And I got to say that to these, you know, 60 students. And I'm like, uh, you know, I, I wasn't even sure if I was allowed to. But it, it doesn't matter because it all blends together. It, it, it has to. There's no other way about it. Nature gives me an opportunity to, like I was saying before, disconnect from the everyday hustle and bustle, grind, uh, very sometimes stressful uh, life situations. Uh, and just really tone it down and listen and hear from God. Uh, and, and also, uh, I'm a very visual person. So when I see the trees swaying back and forth from the wind, when I see a sunrise, when I see, uh, you know, a fish jump uh, in, in the lake, stuff like that really speaks to me uh, because there's something bigger going on. Um, and 